All right, so what we got here, guys and gals, we have two, uh, we, we have our big market profile chart to the left, and um, we all know that the three big levels are the big green, blue, and red levels, the solid levels are volume profile. That's all the volume coming in the market based upon all the algorithms, hedge funds, prop firms, professional amateur traders, banks, etc. We want to play off those levels. We have a trend filter built on that chart also that shows you the um, overall trend of the overall market. So right now we're in a slight bias up on gold. So right to your right of that, we have uh, these automated uh, arrows that pop up that show you an area on a retracement where the market should bounce. We have a longer term chart to the left and a shorter term chart to the right. The best way to look for a possible buy setup is if you're in an uptrend, you want to correlate these arrows with the overall trend direction. So when you get a first cross, this first retracement is going to be the buy setup. You're going to look for a buy setup after a first cross with overall trend direction. So trend direction is up on our market profile chart. You like to see the arrows agree. And we have a long-term chart and a shorter-term chart. Now, the shorter-term chart will catch more shallow retracements than the longer term. And that's what it did. So if you look on my shorter term uh, chart, we crossed and we had a first retracement arrow possible long. And what that means is, is I'm in an area on a retracement that the market's in a sweet spot, that the market should continue in that direction. So once you see that fire, you want to confirm below that market delta is showing an order imbalance for that move in that direction. So we want to see an order imbalance on a buy setup. So once you see an order imbalance, you want to see your market delta turn green. Close green, I'm sorry. You'd like to see it close green. You can see it was red market delta all the way down, red market delta, red, 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 all the way down. And then you got a positive market delta at the low, right when this arrow fired. Now, what I like to see is I like to see a correlation of this longer term crossing the same time um, or in the direction of the shorter term. So my long term is crossed up. It comes down to that white MA. You get an error on the shorter term. You typically have a big bounce. And uh, that happens quite a bit. So you want to see what you like to see if you go over to crude zero real quick is you like to see market profile even agree with these arrows. So fire over to crude zero real quick over to crude oil. Fire to crude over there, man. We look at crude. We're in a downtrend. You can see the trend filter on the market profile chart. The magenta MA is angled down. So we want to get some arrows possibly short in that direction of the overall trend. So we had a retest here. The short-term chart called it right here. An arrow short this morning. And then around 7 o'clock, and now it just called it a short here on a longer-term chart. You can see on this retracement, it came up. At the same time, we got market delta on that retracement, this last retracement negative 257. So this is actually a short at negative market delta from this retracement right into low value area because we short low value area on a retracement. So that was two times confluence. We had the volume profile sitting right there at 6133, developing the thin green line at 6134. You had two times resistance. You break, retest, negative market delta, got the arrows fired, you're good to go. Now, I had a trader that asked me uh, the, uh, yesterday, "Is I, I got a six and a three lined up here. Can you use a five to match up with a five? Yes. You can put this to five if you want, because I know a lot of you like to see market delta match up with the overall, the market delta match up with the overall, because um, I have it on the, I have it on, uh, on gold. That's fine. In fact, we can just leave this in the room if you want a five and a three lined up to get shorter and longer. Because the five is actually what we're using right here on the market delta. The market delta, the five, Simrenko, is the market delta. And you can actually leave it to five here on the Simrenko also. In fact, in the room, I'm going to leave it on the five so you guys can match up market delta when it switches over with the arrow on the exact bar. So we can see this morning, you know, on the... on, on crude oil that we do have, uh, we do have a retracement short. Now, the key is this, is that 
you see how the LVAs, both these are retracement shorts right here. Both lined up with the arrows and the market delta. So if we look, we got a match here, and we got a match here. They both match up. Now if I look over here on my arrow, I got a match here on the arrow on that retracement. And I've got a match here. Now do I have market delta confirming each cell? Yes, I do. I got a short here on market delta. There's my red Rinko bar short, and I got a short here. So this is how you want to match it up, guys and gals. Now, the shorter term chart is going to give you more arrows, especially in the volatility you've been having the last three or four days. It's very imperative you, you're on top of support and resistance. It caught some big trades. I'm going to send out a lot of charts from this week. But we got some big trades that happened in the last three or four days. And if, if you are butting up against support and resistance and caught those arrows, with market delta, you caught a lot of big moves in the markets. But look how this look how this matches up. Now at 558 this morning, it almost hit the uh, our, our methodology is to hit the control point for continuation. Well, that's when the arrow fired here on a retracement right there also. So you can see what we got here, guys and gals, is we have an overall market profile resistance with trend down. The arrows fire at a sweet spot retracement, and then we got market delta to confirm the entry. That's how you want to match things up. And when you're trading a shorter term chart, like a three sim rank up, if you're trading a smaller term chart, you get more arrows, you want to look for the first retracement short, because you're going to get more of them, right? The first cross, first retracement is typically going to be your best. This catches a lot of the counter moves also, if we get back inside of LVA today, this probably will be the first chart that responds for the big push up. If we do move back up to HVA, this smaller time frame will catch it on the first cross, first retracement arrow market delta. But typically, almost all your trades, because the market typically trends three and chops two, almost all your trades are going to be at the overall trend direction. So if I'm trending down, market profile lines up this big red, green, and blue line, that's volume profile, if it breaks free test that with trend and you get the arrow that fires with market delta, that's your signal to get in. So I want to let you know that because we, we had the six sim here, we had a five matching up on, on gold over here, but with crude, you can match at the same Rinko bar with the same old arrow bar. So you get them firing at the same time. You get the arrow firing the same time you get the market delta firing. And this is the same chart over here on the market profile. That's a five sim. This is a five sim. This is a five sim. This is a shorter time frame. So you can leave that on there, and I can leave it in the room for you guys who don't uh, who don't lease the program, because this is very adaptable to your trading style. You go a really long time frame if you just want a few arrows at fire. So you don't have to go shorter time frames to get a lot of arrows. So you can go longer time frame if you want if you want a few arrows at fire. Now what I've done though is is I got market analyzer coming out that only fire a few arrows. Now let me show you what that's going to look like here. I've got this all finished here for you. So let's take a look at this. This is yesterday's trade act, uh, uh, price action. And the reason this is important yesterday is you can see it, not a lot of arrows are going to fire. And this is going to be coming out to you guys here. Um, I want to get over to Gerald to wrap up. That's the big short yesterday. It's a huge short it caught, 50, or the 63, 40, all the way down. It was almost a, a 200 tick hit, 200 tick hit, $2,000 move. It had a uh, 11 tick stop on that one, did. But really a nice big move yesterday. But you can see they're not going to fire very often. It's going to try to catch the long runs. So what you can do is you can leave your charts the way they are, on catching these arrows, what we have out, out to you already, you'll get multiple arrows, right? But then you can use this as a audible alert and, ch and turn your other ones off that fire multiple arrows. You can turn this one on and say, and leave it on and let you know, or you can use market analyzer that's going to show a red arrow sell or green arrow buy. And you can use it on to see when you got a possible big runner. Because this is going to try to catch the big ones. And you can see it's going to ignore the small little swings in here. Whereas what we have now for you 
is we have, if we look at the difference in charts, this is a five Simrico. That's a four. We can go five. doesn't matter. It's still the same. Let me match them up for you. See the see, see the, see the same. Not that short here this morning, but right there's your five sim. So let's go look at the five sim here and the five sim yesterday. Look at the difference in charts. Let me show you how you can look at both of these very, very well. So if I take a look at yesterday's trading on the downside, okay, here's the difference. You're going to see, here's multiple signals you're going to see on what you have out there right now. Here's multiple signals that it produced yesterday. Get over there for you. So there's your multiple signals that it produced, right? Where this guy, this is from 1030 and to, go all the way down, sorry. Get it down for you. Right, that buy signal right there. So if you see from 10.30 all the way down to 1 o'clock, we only had one arrow short. Well, 10.30 to 1 o'clock, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 retracements. So what you can do, hey, Derek, what you can do is we're, for my market analyzer, I don't want market analyzer firing a bunch of arrows. So what I've, what I've done is if I, I got market analyzer that's going to find is going to find and fire only the long, longer term swings. So that is what you'll be getting here soon. When I get over Gerald to wrap, it's an addition to the uh, sweet package you already have. So you can use a, uh, what you already have on there right now to get a, for additional market profile. This butts up against profile. This butts up, butts up, up, butts up against. Your big trades are typically right off that 50 MA. If it comes up to it, you get an arrow. You get a nice little continuation. I really like to look for that in a lot of trades. It's been working out quite well in a lot of markets. So this morning, you can see the 50 MA popped up right off of it. That was the big one this morning off this time frame. So it happened on gold here, sec I mean crude a second ago. That popped right off exactly off the low of it. If, you, if I bring gold over, I really like those arrows that fire off the 50. You can see that last trade we just had on gold right off the 50. And that sucker shot up again. So that works really good after the first cross. That's usually my target on a retracement. If I get a cross 50 retracement and the arrow fires, that's a really good spot to get long or short to market. And that's no difference in, uh, in the longer term chart here also. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be looking at... Um, Market Analyzer will fire this. This is an addition to the suite that we're going to offer. Um, it's not going to fire a lot of arrows, like I said. You're not going to get a lot of them that fire off. Okay. Whoops. You're not going to get a lot of arrows that fire off. When they fire, it's going to try to catch the big long moves. Okay, and Market Analyzer will pick that up for you. Um, so don't email Gerald. No need to email. We'll get it out to you when I get this thing finished. Uh, but that's something we will be doing um, going forward here. But the key is is that make this make this simple. Don't try to make this very difficult. What we want to try to do is we want to try to match up market profile with these overall retracements. So if I get a cross on the arrows, I'm looking for the first retracement cross. Yeah, it's still rolled here. I'm going to shut off here in a second. I'm looking for a first retracement cross. A really good target for you guys and gals to, to learn from it is if I cross down on a longer term or shorter term time frame, that white line is a good target for an arrow. Because that's typically where you're going to get the largest move from is right off that 50 MA. So if I'm butting up against market profile or if I'm getting a retracement after a first cross on that 50, that's typically where you're going to get a big bounce. I guess I'll put gold trade beside it just a second ago. If you look at the, the trades here this morning, this gold trade, this last gold trade right here, look how we crossed. We were in an uptrend. There's your first retracement. Okay? That's going to be typically your best move. 
right off of here, and that's in all markets. You'll see it come down to the 50, and you'll see it come with an arrow, and you get it bounce. Has, has everybody been noticing that? Have you guys been noticing that? Who's leased, leases the programs on many markets? You, you guys been paying attention to that? It comes down to it for a continuation. It happens a lot. That's typically what is going to be your largest move after the first cross. It happens a lot, tons and tons and tons of times. Okay? So that's what we want to see. Okay? I'm sorry, the 110. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm thinking about the, uh, the market profile chart. Yeah, you guys are right, the 110. Sorry about that, Daryl. Thanks, Tom. So if it comes down to the 110 right there on our arrow chart, that's a continuation. Okay, it matches up with over here. The reason I'm saying that it matches up with your 50 over here on the uh, on my longer term uh, market profile chart. 